Rachel Reeves, the UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer, has a tough job. She's responsible for the country's finances. Recently, she's been in the spotlight for her plans to increase funding for the NHS. Reeves argues that investing in the NHS is crucial. However, her proposals come at a time of economic uncertainty. The Chancellor faces a difficult balancing act. Her handling of the NHS funding issue will be closely watched. The UK economy is facing some choppy waters. Inflation is high, putting pressure on households. The cost of living is rising, squeezing budgets. The government is under pressure to provide support. However, this comes at a cost. Against this backdrop, Reeves has announced a series of tax increases. These hikes are designed to raise revenue. This revenue is needed to fund public services like the NHS. However, the tax rises have been met with mixed reactions. Some argue that they are necessary. They say that the wealthy should contribute more. Others worry that the increases will stifle economic growth. They fear that it will discourage investment and job creation. Reeves is walking a tightrope. She needs to balance the need for investment with the need for fiscal prudence. It's a delicate balancing act with no easy answers. At the heart of Reeves's plan is a significant funding boost for the NHS. She has pledged to invest billions more in the health service. This is a key part of Labour's election promised to fix the NHS. The funding package includes several key elements. One major component is a £1.5 billion investment in surgical hubs and scanners. This aims to increase capacity for elective procedures. It's hoped that this will help to reduce waiting times. The funding will also be used to train more staff. Another key element is a £70 million investment in new radiotherapy machines. This is aimed at improving cancer care. It will give patients access to the latest technology. It will also help to reduce waiting times for treatment. These investments represent a substantial increase in NHS funding. It's the largest increase in a decade. Reeves argues that it's essential to address the crisis in the health service. The goal of the NHS funding boost is clear, to improve healthcare for everyone. The government has set an ambitious target. They want to see 2 million more NHS operations each year. This is a significant increase from current levels. This target will require a major effort from the NHS. It will involve recruiting and training more staff. It will also require investment in new equipment and facilities. The aim is to create a more efficient and effective health service. The funding for surgical hubs is a key part of this plan. These hubs will be dedicated to elective procedures. This will allow hospitals to treat more patients. It will also help to reduce waiting times. The investment in radiotherapy machines is another important step. This will help to improve cancer care. It will also free up capacity elsewhere in the system. Section 5. A healthier future. Potential upsides for the NHS and beyond. The potential benefits of the NHS funding boost are significant. Firstly, it could lead to shorter waiting times. This would be welcome news for patients. Many have been waiting too long for treatment. Secondly, the funding could lead to improved outcomes. New equipment and facilities could make a real difference. They could help to diagnose and treat conditions more effectively. This could lead to better health outcomes for patients. Thirdly, the investment in the NHS could have a positive impact on the wider economy. A healthier workforce is a more productive workforce. This could lead to economic growth. However, it's important to note that these are just potential benefits. It remains to be seen whether they will be realised. 
The success of the funding boost will depend on a number of factors. Section 6. The Price of Progress Scrutinising the Tax Hike Concerns The NHS funding boost has been met with some criticism. One of the main concerns is the impact of the tax hikes. Some argue that they will place an unfair burden on taxpayers. They worry that it will discourage investment and stifle economic growth. Others argue that the tax hikes are necessary. They say that the wealthy should contribute more to society. They point out that the NHS is a vital public service. It needs to be properly funded. The debate over the tax hikes reflects a wider debate about the role of government. Some believe that the government should play a more active role in providing public services. Others believe that the government should be smaller and less interventionist. The debate over the NHS funding boost is likely to continue. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. Section 7 Weighing the scales, balancing investment with fiscal responsibility. Reeves's decision to increase NHS funding is a gamble. On the one hand, it's a necessary investment. The NHS is in dire need of more resources. The funding boost could help to improve healthcare for millions of people. It could also boost the economy. On the other hand, the tax hikes needed to fund the NHS could backfire they could damage the economy. This could offset any benefits from the NHS investment. Reeves is walking a tightrope. She needs to find a way to invest in the NHS without damaging the economy. It's a delicate balancing act. Only time will tell whether she has made the right decision. The stakes are high. Her legacy as Chancellor may hinge on the outcome. Section 8, Public Perception, Gauging the Mood on the NHS Front Lines The public reaction to Reeves's NHS funding plan has been mixed. Some are pleased to see the government investing more in the NHS. They believe it's long overdue. Others are concerned about the tax hikes. They worry about the impact on their finances. Those working within the NHS have also expressed a range of views. Some are hopeful that the funding boost will make a real difference. They believe it will help them to provide better care for patients. Others are more cautious. They've seen promises of funding before that haven't materialized. It's still early days. It's too soon to say what the long-term impact of the funding boost will be. However, it's clear that the NHS is a highly emotive issue. Any changes to the health service are likely to be met with strong opinions. Section 9. The Long View. Sustainable funding for a stronger NHS. The challenge for Reeves is to ensure that the NHS receives sustainable funding in the long term. This will require difficult decisions. It may involve reforming the way the NHS operates. It may also involve finding new ways to raise revenue. One option could be to introduce a hypothecated tax for the NHS. This would mean that a certain percentage of tax revenue would be ring-fenced for the health service. This could provide more certainty for the NHS. However, it could also limit the government's flexibility in other areas. Another option could be to encourage more private investment in the NHS. This is a controversial issue. However, it could help to reduce the burden on the taxpayer. Finding a sustainable funding solution for the NHS is one of the biggest challenges facing the UK government. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. Section 10. A defining moment. Reeves's gamble and the road ahead. Rachel Reeves's decision to increase NHS funding is a defining moment. It's a bold move with significant risks. However, it's necessary. 
The NHS is a vital public service. The success of Reeves's gamble depends on many factors. The economy must remain strong. Tax hikes need to raise revenue. The 